Hey everybody, I'm Tektos, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2. Last time we uh, finished another mission, and now it's only five days until we can actually build... Oh. One of the supplies for that. Huh. It's only five days until we can actually build a power relay, is what I wanted to say. But, uh, those things don't come cheap. Maximum power consumption Well, it's 80 supplies, but then we're gonna need more supplies to actually build a psionic lab or whatever that building is called that will come out of our psionic research so huh one more scientists I uh, really don't need that at the moment we got so much stuff going on on the map but what I really need for Mexico. <coughs> before we actually um, do anything else is to make contact with New Mexico because Added. Complete the Advent Black Side Commander, mission. We've established contact with the local resistance and we're ready to move on the alien Black Side on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Mm hmm. Complete the Adam Blackside mission. Use this call jack. Alright. Um, let's visit the black market first, though. <clears throat> See what we can get there. Hmm. Supplies. Oh, that's too bad. I, I think these are uh, increased by 100% already. Advanced speed, advanced agility. Oh, it's not that much stuff to buy anyway. The only thing that really, um, really annoys me a little bit is that we can't afford that engineer. Mm. Stun lancer corpses. Not really sure what you need those for. Uh, where's the damn hair trigger? There we go. What will turn this off? Cost an action for the active turn. I don't know. It just doesn't. Yeah. It just doesn't feel like. Like I'm not the. <clears throat> I am. I'm all for kind of random bonuses, but in this game, it just. I don't know. It, it, there's already the randomness with the uh, with the shot percentage and whatnot. So if you add that. Like this thing, it, it's just not, you just can't plan it in. Um, you always have to assume that it won't trigger and you plan your turns and your actions that way. <coughs> Excuse me. And then if it will trigger, it's just like you're winning, but you're winning harder then. And there's just no point in that. <coughs> so I'd rather take things like the auto loader, loader or uh, the, the scope. Like I take 5% extra aim over that. 5% chance to save an action any day. Even though the uh, saving of the action at, well, I can just sell two of these, um, at a certain point would be just awesome to have, but wow. Well, anyway, that should do it. 16 supplies, whatever. So that wasn't really very helpful. Um, we could do the black side mission, but I think that's a little longer. Um, we only got six days for psionics. We got a scientist here. Got the black side. We got Western Europe that we can't make contact with. Uh, oh no, we can't. Or we can make contact with Brazil. Um, we still have two out of three contacts. But we already know here there's a. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go into the Eastern US. Because <clears throat> here is already one black site that we know about. So how much Avenger intel will we get here? Let's grab a little of that because we are kind of short on it. And I would very much enjoy 
snagging up one additional engineer for some uh, intel, if I could. Oh! Commander, remote reconnaissance indicates the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. That's fine. All right, so now we got um, maximum power consumption reached. <clears throat> we got that room, and now we can build a power relay in it. Significant increase to power output. We're gonna need that anyway. All right, all right, all right. So six days for that, three days for this. Uh, we still got some engineers though. I think we're just gonna go clear out this. Yep, we got two engineers actually. So uh, you're gonna start explicating here. <coughs> and we're gonna start explicating this as well. There you go. Looking good. Let's keep up on the map. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Oh, yes. So now we can build the Sci Lab. That is pretty cool. Sci Lab will allow rookie soldiers to train as Sci operatives, substituting standard soldier training for the intense mental ordeal that will unlock their latest psionic talent. Evolved version of the Psyamp channels the user's psionic energy far more clearly, enable greater psionic strength in our operatives, psi offensive and psi psionic attack. Blah blah. Alright. Great. We got another data pet we could harvest for intelligence. Um, I think we're gonna go with the autopsies. <clears throat> there. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. Mm -hmm. Although I had realistic expectations. All right, let's gain that intel. Urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Sure. Uh, forty intel. Wow. Um, the aliens step up their construction efforts, reducing the alien facility counter by two weeks. Advance stifles the movement of resistance resources, decreasing supplies of the next bladder by 50%. Well, <clears throat> that's not too great. Yeah, I guess I have to pay that. Alien scientists make great strides in the outer, instantly adding one block. Oh, that wasn't... Uh, that was a... 40 intel wasted. I'd really... I need that intel now. Alright, thank you. Okay, let's Avenger grab the supplies. I hope that course. UFO is not out there haunting me. No, didn't look good. Great, let's grab these supplies. Center now operational. Oh, perfect. Alright, we could put, yeah, we're gonna put one engineer in here. Heating rate 100% increase, that's pretty cool. Um, what? Retrain soldier's abilities, alright, so we could. Um, hmm. So that doesn't work the way I expected it to. Alright, so in the Guerrilla Tactics School, 
You can pick a rookie to train for a certain class. New combat tactics, yeah, that's just stuff we can buy, which at this point I'm not really gonna do, because we're gonna need a lot of money to actually uh, build all the things I want. So I thought we could use the Warfare Center to actually build up uh, I am go. sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. I find it unusual, to say the least, that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. Hmm. Yeah, I actually had assumed that... Oh, well, it's just uh, Battlefield Medicine. The venom injected by the Viper into its victims is nasty stuff. Capable of taking down even the biggest, toughest soldier. However, it also contains a number of enzymes that could be isolated for use in our medkits, greatly improving coagulation at wound sites. Is that cog coagulation? Is that how you say that? I have no idea. <clears throat> Alright, so we could go for the uh, Gauss weapons or the mutons. I think I want to research the mutants. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse. And I must say, it is quite disconcerting. Yeah. <clears throat> so I uh, thought you could retrain your soldier to be a different class at the uh, Warfare Center. Which apparently is not the case. Um, new scientists, engineers, and veteran soldiers are available for recruitment in the Resistance HQ. Let's Seven check it out anyway. For Western United States. <clears throat> Welcome, Commander. All right, so we got a scientist for 195. Noah Dark Blonde, a Grenadier. Damn, that's one of my created soldiers. Why, why do I have to buy you? I want you as a rookie. Rapid construction or scanning bonus? Uh, neither of those is very interesting to me at the moment. <coughs> hmm. Avenger plotting let's, new course. Let's grab a scientist for free if we can. That UFO contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Oh, damn. We've detected an alien UFO in close in proximity to the Avenger. It is rapidly advancing towards our position. Setting course for Sector 9, Western United States. Who? What the hell? Where are you flying? Oh my god. <clears throat> All right. So you're flying around the the world in in a second. You're in the clear, Commander. No further sign of the pursuing UFO. Thanks to clever flying, we have managed to avoid interception by the UFO. All right, that's great. Avenger plotting new course. Oh, all right. So the event is now gone. That's good. That's very good. Skulljack is complete. Thank you. Hmm. Well, let's just... Power relay now operational. Oh, perfect. <clears throat> Alright, let's... Uh... Yeah, that's a lot better. So this thing here provides, I think, 3 power. And this here provides 10 power. Even though it kind of sucks that we had to go down that deep. But it's, it's pretty cool that it does provide that much extra power. So now I think... No, 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 oh god. Um, idle stuff. Staff, oops. Unused Illyrium cores. Yeah, I know that. I'm not just gonna build it all up. Power relay. Alright, so now we could actually built the psionics lab and I think oh my goodness five power yeah that was good that we got this and we got this thing um, let's look at that I, I eventually I want to have a workshop 
so we can get a couple of gremlin drones uh, instead of using engineers for all the tasks. Um, so I want that. And even though the adjacent bonus doesn't really matter that much, I kind of still want to make... Wait. Oh right, I thought this was already explicated. No, it's not. Um, I still want the facility to kind of make sense. So we're gonna put our... I think the lab and the psionics we're gonna put over here. So let's do the psy lab down here. 21 days. Uh, that's a little much for me. We're all busy, but I think... Um... I think we don't have any more wounded soldiers. Let's take a quick look around armory. Soldiers. No, just one shaken soldier. Uh, everybody else is available. So let's assign nobody here. And let's have you build the silo a little faster. Thank you. So now it's only 10 days to get that done. 11 days. Well, still pretty fast. Four days clearing out the debris. Guerrilla tactics. Uh, where's my armory? Mm. Uh, no, I what can I do for you, Commander? Build items. So now we got 140 supplies. I don't think we're in need. <coughs> um, Siamp. Well. I don't need that yet, because we don't have Psy operatives. Um, nanoscale West, I don't really need that. Smoke grenades. Meh. Mind shield. Mimic beacon, I think. We got two faceless corpses, but it's 75 supplies. This thing is... I think I want one before we actually go on the black side mission. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want one of those. So we're going to have to keep um, the resources around. Dad sacrificed the only thing he had left to get this ship off the ground. And I won't let it be for nothing. She might be a little worse for wear right now. But with some um, new schematics and a little got elbow two grease, cores there, actually. she'll be the toughest thing in the sky. Got the skull jack. <clears throat> I think I want to try out the experimental ammo. Sure, that's uh, ten days. It's just one core, so Sounds let's good, I'll let you know as soon as the let's keep that thing busy. And we definitely could use like an additional engineer. That would be a thing of beauty if we could put one on here or make the clearing of the debris a little faster. But, uh, yeah. Let's find a scientist. Uh-oh. Oh, just... Alright, never mind. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Sure, I can We're do that. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Yeah. We don't need to move that fast, actually. Commander, the aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. All right. Oh, now they're making pretty <clears throat> pretty fast progress, but we still got that one advent black side. I think is really going to drop down some progress on there. New targets. We've got new targets for guerrilla operations against advent review targets. Commander with the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Oh. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. Minor breakthrough adds one block of progress. Yeah, I don't need... That doesn't really bother me too much. This here is definitely the mission to do. We get an engineer and we counter the rural checkpoints. Which is going to be a major hit. 50% less supplies. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for the Western that. US but uh, we already spent so much damn time on the world map. That I'm thinking I'll uh, probably end it here.
It's a little bit of a shorter episode, but we got a lot done, I think. And we're on our way to get our first Psy operatives, and... We can uh, just launch the mission right away next episode. I think I'll... Well, let's just do the... You know what I'll do? I'll just... Um, we're just gonna equip the squad. So, uh, let's just go for that. Make all utility available. And then I'm gonna launch the mission, save it in the mission, and then we're gonna bring you back there next episode. So, uh, man, we got a nice selection now. Uh, what did the difficulty say? Oh, whatever. <clears throat> Righty, so now we need a ranger on this. Ah, it's so hard. Now we got so many people. I also wanna, like, all the rookies that I created, I wanna have... I wanna level them up. And I need to level these guys up, and... Oh my god. It's gonna be pretty difficult to decide. Anyway, uh, Pablo needs a level, so let's just... That's a given that you're on the mission. Um... <clears throat> What was the mission, actually? It's just a... running gun, kinda. You just go in and have to kill all enemies, I think. Oh no, we have to rescue the engineer, right. So, uh... Spectre is gonna be very helpful in that. Um... Pablo, Spectre... We also want a sniper. You're not just not cutting it, actually. It's difficult to decide. Let's, um... We got our ranger. Let's uh, get a specialist as well. I want to level up pipes just a little more. Pipes and, uh... Like these two, they need to level up a little bit. Because uh, pipes is gonna be our healer. And Mr. Van Wout, I want to have available to... Actually, is it kind of risky to bring you on the mission? Not quite sure. Because uh, this hacking skill is just amazing, so I definitely want him available for the Black Side mission. Now, we got the Grenadier, we got the... Uh, Ranger, we got two Specialists. So now it's just a question, do we take another Sharpshooter? Or do we take another ranger? Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to level my... Mr... Oh, I need to correct that nickname, by the way. Really need to do that. Edit you. Um, can we customize you? No! Damn, I can't edit the nickname anymore. Well, now you're gonna be Mr. Steel a Stock. Which uh, original was Steel a Sock. I don't know how that T got in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, that's gonna be the loadout. Uh, Pablo definitely needs a level because we need a high level Grenadier number two. We only got one. And uh, Spectre, just. She's gonna be the. Like. Even if you. Um, yeah, she's, she's gonna. She's just. Uh, I just like the character, all in all. The nickname, the look, the cappy, the, it's just. I just love that character. So, uh, she's gonna be my chief ranger. Unless somebody takes a title from her, but so far she's been... very... much my, my VIP on most missions where she's uh, been on. While the other rangers... <coughs> kinda fall behind on that. So, uh, but we're definitely gonna level up... Mr. Uh, Stellasok, and of course... on the black side mission, Robert's gonna make a reappearance. Got some time to practice those aiming skills. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, now, for you, you need to have that... That med kid. There you go. Um, Mr. Pablo, you need... A gas grenade. Gas grenade, frag grenade, pretty good. Um, we got the med kit for you, remote healing. We're gonna give... Skulljack... Why do we have two Skulljacks? Really? Did I build two? 
Oh, that was an accident. Didn't mean to do that. Anyway. What can we do for you? Oh, let's actually see what we can do for... I don't want to upgrade the weapon anymore. I can't do that anyway. I don't think the uh, the dodge is relevant for a grenadier. It's probably better spent on on a ranger. Mm, what can we do for you? Is there a weapon upgrade? Oh, you already got the auto loader, so that that's enough for you. Steal a sock. But you. Can we upgrade that? One free reload. Mm, don't think that's that great. Yeah, and I, I kinda wanna Yeah, I think that that's good enough. That is good enough. Alright, so this is the loadout. Um, off screen I'm gonna just launch the mission and save it in the mission. And then next episode we're just gonna start right away in the middle of the action and uh, just switch the auto around a little bit. We're gonna start with the action and then go back to the map and get some stuff done there. But uh, this episode is already half an hour almost, so yeah, if we're gonna do the mission it's gonna be like a one hour episode and I just don't have that much time. Sorry guys. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I, uh, yeah, I think it, it, it's a lot more fun to actually, like I kinda hate to admit this, but for me it's actually... The base building part is almost more fun than the missions, but uh, of course, like, the base building leads up to the missions, and that's the core of the game, but for me, I really enjoy building up that base, teching, getting new weapons and that stuff, it's just the, the, the part that is the absolute most fun for me. Anyway, I shut up now, you guys have a wonderful day, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around for the next one.